Okay, right, well back to the demonstration and for my last dish that I'm going to do in this particular demonstration is a very quick, very simple watercress chutney. And this recipe I've had for a number of years, it's a really good, quick recipe and nothing better than a quick recipe. And it's delicious served with onion bhajis or samosas, something like that, something with a slightly sort of um, Indian flavours. So again with um, curries as well if you're a fond um, lover of curries. So this is a watercress chutney and I put into my food processor just one handful of watercress. I'm just going to put another couple. There we go, because as I said previously, it will cook or cut down very, very quickly. There we are, you can see I need a little bit more of this wonderful watercress. And then for the rest of the ingredients, I'm going to add approximately 100 grams of desiccated coconut, three green chilies, which I've chopped up, um, I've just de-seeded, taken seeds out, chopped up roughly, together with three cloves of garlic. And both of those ingredients, of course, you can adjust your own taste. So if you want less sort of really spiciness, then I'd remove perhaps one of the green chilies and use um, two instead. I'm going to take a handful of fresh mint leaves, add those to the processor, a teaspoon, a teaspoon of salt and a bit of a salt snob because I like the salt flakes rather than um, a really grinded fine salt. Find um, salt flakes to give a really good flavour. And then the juice of one lime. So quickly just cut that lime in half and just take a fork and just turn it in the centre. I always find it fascinating because lemons have pips and limes don't. Never Googled it, never asked the question. I'm sure one day somebody will tell me why. Uh, but so much easier when you're trying to get the juice out of the centre. You can do that with a fork rather than having to use a juicer like you would with a lemon, which takes out all the pips for you. There we are. So we've got some really interesting flavours here. We've got the lime. We've got the fresh wind, we've got the lovely fresh watercress. Okay, uh, make sure that you squeeze all the juice out of it as much as you can. We're going to add a teaspoon of brown sugar. And that's all there is. And then we're just going to give it a quick zuzz in the water. Sorry, in the food processor again. I'm going to use the pot this time. No cooking involved with this at all. Just going to put a little bit more lime juice in there. There we go. Let's give it a cook a little bit more. There we have a very quick, very simple watercress chutney. Now it will look very dry, which is absolutely fine. That's how you want it. It's, um, it doesn't um, want any more liquid in it at all. I'm just going to serve it into my dish here. With any leftover, you can put it in a jar and put it into 
with a with a seal lid. Put it into a jar with a seal lid and put it into a cupboard or better still your refrigerator actually rather than into a store cupboard. Put it into the refrigerator and it will keep for about four days, four to five days. So we've made a lovely quantity of it here. There we go. So that is your quick watercress chutney, which I have said you can serve with onion barges or anything from um, Indian curries, and it will go with the uh, vegetable samosas. But as I say, it's quite a dry curry, so don't expect to find a lot of liquid at the bottom of it because it just won't be there. But with the lime, the coconut, the delicious watercress, you've got a really lovely, very simple and very quick cold chutney. Well, that brings me to the end of the demonstration. I hope you've enjoyed it. Do look on the website for any of the recipes that we've done during my series of cookery dams during the virtual watercress festival week. The links will be there for the producers as well. And I'd like to thank Sue and Phil very much for producing such lovely sausages. I know they have really high quality produce, high quality butchery techniques that they use. And at the end of the day, they do provide a really fantastic service like many of our Hampshire farmers market producers that we have and the ones that join us not only at the Oswald Watercrest Festival, but there are markets all over the county. So do pop along, see the people that make the food that they're actually selling to you. Meanwhile, I'll say thank you very much. Goodbye. I hope you've enjoyed it. and Thank you. Bye bye.